uh, in this question we are given that uh, 20 questions of true or false true false type are asked and a student tosses a fair coin to determine his answer if he, the coin fall, coin falls hits his answer true and if it falls tails he answers false and we have to find the probability that he answers at least 12 questions correctly so you have 12, 20 questions and there are only two possible co outcomes which is getting a correct answer or a wrong answer and all the questions are independent of each other so this is an example of bernoulli trials with n is equal to 20 so now uh, what is the definition of success success is uh, answering the question correctly correct so what should i do i have to find the probability of answering the question correctly so in this there are two events let us call the first event as uh, coin shows tails okay coin shows head and i'll call the second event as uh, the correct answer of the question is heads sorry the correct answer of the question is true fine so uh, what is the probability of success probability of success is simply uh, probability of a into probability of b because tossing of the coin and the answer of the question these two are independent events i can write the intersection of these two as simply product of these two so either the coin should come head and the answer should be true or the coin the answer should be false that is probability of b complement into the coin should also get tails so in these two cases i'll get uh, success correct so this is probability of a complement into b complement probability of b complement okay so now what is the probability of a probability that coin shows head is simply uh, half and in a true or false question probability that the correct answer is true is again half correct correct so if i put these values in this i'll get half into half plus what is probability of a complement 1 minus half which is again half and this is also half correct so this is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which is half in this question we you find that the probability of success and failure are equal but if the coin was not a biased coin if the coin was not a fair coin or the probability of correct answer was not exactly half you may not get this result so we should always be careful that we are finding the probability of success in the proper way okay so now i got the probability of success i'll call this as p this means that q is also half which is the probability of failure and i have got n so now what should i find probability that he answers at least 12 questions correctly out of 20 questions that is i have to find the probability of x greater than equal to 12 correct so this is equal to probability of x equal to 12 plus probability of x equal to 13 plus probability of x equal to 14 plus probability of x equal to 15 plus probability of x equal to 16 plus probability of x equal to 17 and uh 18 and 19 and probability of x equal to 20 okay so i have to sum all these cases so here this are the bernoulli trials so i'll use the binomial distribution so this is equal to 20 c 12 into half power 12 into half power 8 plus here i can see that both are equal so i need not write p power Uh, uh what do you say some p power k into q power 20 minus k i can simply write half power 20 correct so plus 1 by 2 power 20 into uh 
I am taking it common for all the other terms. It will be 20C13 plus 20C14 plus 20C15 plus 20C16 plus 20C17 plus 20C18 plus 20C19 plus 20C20.